Ahoy pilots, Britt here. After my Bay Area flight, it was time to get down to the official flight review. I definitely did some things on this flight that proved I was a little bit rusty. I had the throttle way too open on startup and did a really loud embarrassing blast. And then on takeoff, I realized that my window was still open, so clearly I had skipped a checklist item. We fixed it when we were safe at altitude, but I wish it hadn't happened. We did lots of great VFR maneuvers this flight, so it was really helpful when I got home to be able to debrief and compare maneuver to maneuver and see how I did, and to make sure I am knocking that rest off. I only have a few maneuvers left to do, and then I'll have that endorsement. For this flight, we flew the Woodside departure and out towards the west to practice maneuvers. As you can see, San Carlos is very close to the surface area of SFO, and it is important that I don't bust that airspace. My slow flight felt pretty solid, so we took it straight into a power-off stall. For both the power-on and power-off stalls, especially during the recovery, I needed more right rudder. Watching the 3D cockpit view, it is interesting that you can clearly see my yaw and heading change as a result of not correcting enough. Overall, steep turns felt good. My left turn first, altitude was pretty solid, but I rolled out of the turn too early just outside of private pilot standards with a heading variance of 13 degrees. On the right turn, the score shows that I fixed my early rollout and got it better on the second try. I felt good about this steep turn and my score shows it. Emergency landings were next and my debrief confirms that I do need more practice. I made two attempts on this flight. When comparing the airspeed graph from each attempt, the up and down of the blue line shows that I wavered from holding best glide speed. My instructor suggested I use trim and use it right away to get the best glide speed and keep it stable. I followed her advice for my second attempt. Comparing my descent rate of 645 feet per minute on the first try to the 531 feet per minute on the second, I can see that there was improvement. We did two landings today. One that was a bit flat and one where I flared slightly too high. But on this first landing, check out my nice descent. The dotted line shows what a stabilized approach should look like and my solid line matches it nicely. As a rusty pilot, I'm still working on getting my flying muscles back in shape and my confidence is pilot in command back up. But looking at this debrief, it tells me I'm actually doing pretty good and I'm on the right track.